Well, to everybody, do you know where your automated payments are? You know that one that you set up years ago to maybe pay an insurance policy or something and yeah. totally forgot about it? So <laughs> that's what we're going to talk about today. The automation sounds so terrific. And most of the time it is a real convenience, wouldn't you say? I mean, if you set a setting and click a button and it's taken care of, particularly when it comes to money, paying bills, having deposits. But there's a downside to this. And yeah. this came up uh, when a friend from New York called me. And he called me in California because he has an investment in California that when it pays him, it doesn't take out the withholding. Mm. So the state of California bills him separately to take the tax for his investment. So here's the deal. He's got a bank account and he has all his, um, his money coming in with automatic deposit, right? So it's Social Security and pension fund and this investment from California. So the money gets deposited not a big problem, but he's also got it automated to set up to pay bills. Mm -hmm. So among the bills was this uh, tax bill from, I guess it's the California Franchise, Franchise Tax Board. Board. Yeah. yeah, whatever the tax entity is in California. And so they sent him an invoice. Well, all this automation is fine except for timing. So the money that went in he had taken out to pay other bills. The Franchise Tax Board was supposed to not bill him for another week or so when there'd be more money in there. It billed him early, as I understand That's it. That's a bounce. <laughs> and he was, he was broke. You know, it's, it's whatever you call that when you're in... Overdrawn, uh, yeah. Yeah, overdrawn. So as it turns out, it wasn't a big problem because he had more money coming in. But... Here's the caution for all of us. We set up these automated things hoping they all work perfectly, but you need to check them. They don't last forever. Banks change, uh, your investment people change, your expenses change, your bills change. You never know what it's gonna be. You have to, you have to go in, check your settings, and make sure that the timing, among other things, is correct. And make sure that you, if you've, let's say you've, paid off somebody, make sure they don't have, they still have access to withdraw money from your account. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's probably the bill side paying that's more critical than the income deposit side uh, of your accounting. But nevertheless, th this automation is a double-edged sword. So we all have to be very careful. Yeah, well, I, I actually uh, had some experience with this uh, uh, where uh, you know, they, everybody, uh, not everybody, but you'll see in AARP releases and other releases that you should check because you lose track of them easily, particularly if you have magazines or other things that are on automatic renewal right. for a year because you, you're really smart. You took the year thing. So instead of it being 10 bucks yeah. a month, you pay $80 for the year. But then a year later, when you probably didn't even want to say anymore, you get billed for another 80 bucks, which or, yep. or whatever the increase was because you said, it's okay to bill me here. And all of yeah. a sudden you didn't realize, and uh, and then you say, well, I'll take care of it next year. No, take it right away and get rid yeah. of that. It's like, for instance, I'll give you an example. I have my uh, social security come in and other uh, investments uh, come into one particular account. And I know the days that they come in, and then I set up the automatic pay of things that I know that are fixed amounts. I don't put my utilities on there in case uh, Southern California Edison decides one month to bill me for five thousand dollars instead of you know the hundred bucks because uh, yeah. you hear these crazy things but things that are fixed like an insurance payment uh my medicare supplement plan i pay and yeah. all those things but i got some surprises where uh, i had subscribed to uh when both of us were much more active in the business to imdb and uh dropbox where i would right. pay an annual fee but it was paid annually and then all of a sudden after uh, uh, the last couple of years, I realized I don't use that part of IMDb anymore. I'm paying a lot of money for nothing, but it's on auto pay. So unless you go yeah. in and you cancel it, and you have to, right. and the question is, where do you cancel? Do you set it up at the bank side? Did you set up, yeah. up uh, what was the password for IMDb? Because I used it for a year. Uh, consumer <laughs> reports. 
I don't mind yeah. renewing it every year, but I hate them doing it because I used to do it every other year because you get that yeah. nice little booklet that gives you all the autos and everything else. And yeah. then I could wait for two years before I renew again. So anyway, uh, but you could wind up either with surprises like your John's friend, where it comes in the wrong timing and all of a sudden you're getting a bill before your, let's say social security check came in, in the middle of the month, which is where mine yeah. comes in. So uh, it's important. And uh, if you don't know the, that it's a fixed amount and you're totally aware of it, you probably shouldn't put it on there because sometimes utility bills are wrong. They miss something sure. or something like that. But other things yeah. like a mortgage, if you have a mortgage, absolutely. That's one that's, you know, it's predictable. You know when it's going to be coming in. Our association fee is predictable and no one's going to come in. And I don't want to be yeah. late on them because then you pay late payments. Right. Right. Good advice. Good advice. Anyway, uh, hopefully this will help everybody um, manage your finances, particularly as we get older. I think we rely on a lot of this automotion, a lot of this automation mm -hmm. without quite knowing the details of how it works or how it could backfire on you. So don't just opt in for the easy way out with an automated uh, a deposit or withdrawal. J double check everything. And if you do have it, make a list and put it in. Let's say if you collect tax information for your next year, like I have a little folder here for 19, uh, uh, 2024 taxes, then I have a list in there that has all of these automated things so that somewhere along the line, I know every at least once a year, I'm going to be looking at the list and say, hey, do I really still want to do that? Or yep. maybe it's time, maybe I should write a check. Uh, like for instance, if you're paying a life insurance policy, you know, if you're not around, they may, they may pull out another one or two of them uh, after you're gone. So, <laughs> and I hate to, you know, they make enough money without me, without me making that mistake. Anyway. Uh, stay wealthy, stay healthy. And keep watching Celebrating Act 2. We'd like to help you. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.